Hi there, my name is Jason Tranter, the Founder and Managing Director of Mobius Institute and I'm really pleased to be able to say that we have now trained 20,000 vibration analysts in our courses. So that's all since 2005, that's when we started teaching the actual classroom courses. That's all category one, two, three, and four, you know, following the standards and so on. That doesn't include our basic training courses, vibration courses we run, plus the balancing and alignment and all the other training that we do. And it doesn't include the thousands of people who have been trained via iLearn Vibration and the other e-learning products we have, like iLearn Reliability, or the thousands of people who have seen our um, YouTube videos and those sorts of things and webinars and whatnot. Of course, it doesn't include those. So 20,000 just in our classroom courses. Um, and they, they all come from 164 countries around the world. In fact, I meant to look this up, but we have our training materials and exams in 16 languages. Not the same for category one through three, four, like four is only in English. But uh, anyway, it's a lot of languages that we maintain um, so that everyone can learn in their own language. Okay, so you can see kind of how that's changed. You know, we just had a, a few students back there in uh, 2005. But, um, you know, we've gone past uh, 3,000 students in the year. So we have to, of course, with your support, continue to grow those numbers as well. But you can see it's been up and down with economic changes, but there it is. Um, just a, a little moment to reminisce as well. You know, we started the business in 1999 and developed animations and simulations that originally went into iLearn Vibration. And, you know, I was looking through some of them and this is one of our original bearing animations. It's uh, pretty basic. We had, you know, cool animation with the motor and a little compressor and so on. That was considered a real state of the art when we did it. Um, software simulators, you know, the two fans going with their gold coins to teach phase in this case and signal processing in this case. We actually still use this one. But since then we've developed over a thousand 3D animations. I forget uh, 300 or so little simulators. So we've got lots of animations that really, well, they make the training more interesting, but also make it far more understanding. You know, screw compressor, uh, one of the animations we use in the category four training, the rotor dynamics. Um, I like this one. We got so many of these interactive simulators. If you've been to our class, you'll know what I'm talking about, but you know, we can, um, uh, understand a little bit about balancing and unbalance. Oops. Anyway, um, so we have a lot of people to thank for the success that we have enjoyed with all of our courses. And first I must start with the Mobius team. You know, we have staff in Australia where we do the exams, the certification and develop the training, but also in the United States, in Europe and Central America, uh, where, our, where we have employees sort of supporting, I guess, all of our training partners. So everyone has worked hard to contribute to our courses and the administration of, of everything that we do. Um, that's actually, we had a little um, cake and everything to celebrate the 20,000. We're really proud of that. And that's our staff from the Australian office. Um, also I want to really thank our training partners. So in over 55 countries, we have authorized companies that are able to teach our courses. And of course, instructors who are qualified to teach those courses. So even though I talk about the animations and simulations, of course we, re we have wonderful instructors who do an excellent job explaining all the material and of course using those simulations and animations. So I want to thank you all for supporting our business, working with us and doing a, such a great job um, teaching the courses. Um, and we have training partners, as I mentioned, all over the world, lots of languages and everything. I want to really thank the MIBOC or Mobius Institute Board of Certification committee members. So as you may be aware, all of our certification is accredited, independently audited 
every six months. Um, but we can't make the decisions and do everything ourselves. We're not allowed. So we have an independent committee, scheme committee and technical committee and others that do all the, they set the rules, they check everything we do, they write the exam questions, check exam questions and, and all those kinds of things. So they're voluntary positions. So we really are very grateful for everything they've done to help uh, Mobius and of course um, students and people taking the courses. Um, and I want to thank my family as well. There's been a lot of work that's gone into um, developing all this stuff. So I personally want to thank my family. They didn't want to have their photos in this. So there they are on a hike recently. My two sons and wife, Georgia, who's also the co-founder of Mobius. Um, and of course, I want to thank you if you're one of our students. You know, it's um, sh you've place a lot of faith in Mobius to take our training, um, to be certified by Mobius Institute Board of Certification. So I want to really thank you. Many of you have, have come to category one, then two, then three, and even four, and you've um, recommended us to uh, other people and written nice things about us on forums and things like that. So I really want to thank you. You know, everyone involved with vibration analysis knows what a tough job it is to take the measurements, to check if the machine needs any help, needs any repairs and so on, or if it can, you know, continue to be operated safely. Of course, if anything goes wrong, there can be really dire consequences. We all know what a tough job it is, how important it is that we get it right. Um, you know, all the instrumentation and testing that we can do to verify our diagnoses and, and all of that. You know, it's an important job and what we're really trying to avoid are these failures. But you know that. You're probably involved with vibration analysis if you're watching this, this little video. Um, hey, I just want to take this moment also to mention, if you haven't heard about it already, our new conferences, the International Machine Vibration Analysis Conference. So we've been teaching courses, yeah, well, since 2005 and uh, e-learning um, since uh, 2000. But you need another way to continue to learn, to listen to great case studies, to meet other vibration analysts. So now we are running these conferences, uh, one in the United States, one in Europe, and one in the Middle East. And we'll have our first one coming up in November this year, or actually October 31st, and um, then next year um, in Europe, in Antwerp, and then in the Middle East, another one in the United States, and so on. So we're really trying to get all the vibration analysts together, you know, the case studies, meeting other vibration analysts, learning about new technology, um, learning from the exhibitors that are there. You know, there's lots of great things coming out in the world of vibration, and you know, if you don't come along to a conference dedicated to vibration, you won't necessarily find out about those. So I hope you can come along to the IMVAC conference. Um, so, once again, thank you very much for your support of our business, for attending our courses, and for listening to this video as well. Thanks again.